Okay, so parts laid out here for issue 58, which is the uh, connecting the cables for the wing flaps. So it's going to be some of the parts for the wing flaps and then getting those connecting cables uh, onto there so that they can be operated. Quite nice detailed parts. Once again, nice uh, stenciling on these. Yeah, quite nice sound. Even the rivet, or oh, yeah, rivet, extended rivets are pretty good. So, um, yeah, checked all off, all there. Very say very easy to. Make sure you got the right left and right hand ones when they're different colours. Uh, some connecting pins, uh, some pins and uh, some uh, various screws. And look at those. But yeah, all checked off, all there. So we're uh, just going to get into this build for uh, issue 58. Okay, so I'm going to connect, I'm going to build both of these in, in so then I don't have to kind of build one and then take them all the way and build it back up. So it tells you really to build the uh, the black one first and then fit it and then put the cream one together and fit that. But I'm going to do the, I'm going to build them both first so that I can then get onto the model. So you've got the... Uh, what does it call it? The flange, and then you've got the operating probably bracket, and you're just going to kind of assemble those like that. So it kind of gets assembled like that. This is. So that kind of gets assembled. Get into there, and then you're going to use one of these pins and push it through. And it has got, very difficult to see, probably a knurled end. Now, a knurled end goes away, so it kind of goes in like that, with a knurled end at that end. Okay, it needs to go all the way in, so it does need to go all the way in. So you push it firmly, it says firmly in place. So, okay, so then as I say, it then says to fit that, but I'm going to do, I'm going to basically kind of, this doesn't tell you to do this until a little bit later on, but I'm going to do it now so that I don't have to move the model around too much. So, I'm going to do the same for this part. Just goes together. So they're both constructed now, just those pins get pushed through. Okay, so first thing, the first one's asking us to do is for the left hand wing. Uh, and you just kind of you've got this little pin there. So you've got a pin there, it's the wing flap. You just kind of make sure that that hole goes into there. And then that goes over there. So that's going to hold it all in, I guess. And then you're going to fit that on with screws, I guess. PWM screws. So it's a big PWM screw. Have a look what that looks like. It's a silver one with a big washer attached, and that goes on to yeah, up in there. Hold it in place. We need part A from the sprue. Doesn't actually have any letters on it, so you just gotta kind of match it up to the picture. So it's that one there. 
And then you have to take the anchor part from this wing flap cable and thread that through. So that the flat part of this goes towards that. Make sure that it gets anchored to. Now it goes through there onto the flap. So you just thread that through. There's a guide there for the rope. I believe that goes on to the flap itself. Does it get glued on? No, it's, it's a heavily screw. And you go somehow. Actually, you can get a screw in there and then tighten it up, can't you? Okay, that type of screw is it? It's a PM screw. So once that's in, I want to pull this tight now. There we go. Now we take part B from the screw. I'll show you the last, last part on the screw. It's the last part on the screw because it looks like that. Round part. So it's got a ridge on it. This part. It says you need to note the orientation of the ridge. It goes towards these. And you also have to kind of know where it goes. I think it's going on that one. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. Slot. Okay got two slots, three slots actually, so it has to kind of go in that direction there. You've got to make sure that the ridge goes away. So it's almost as if the cable or the rope, whatever, is going to go through that. Okay, so you put the cable, the rope through the... Oh, we don't do that yet. We're going to. So this comes out for now. You're going to have to obviously fit the other side now. So we do the same that we've done for that side on this side. Okay, so we'll just do exactly the same that we've done for that side, this side. So you've got your flap slightly downwards, and in there. And then attach the big flanged screw. To these grooves and then a little B screw to hold that all in place. Still needs to move obviously so that needs to go around there around there and we'll do the same for this one. Yep we all move yep that, so that will work. So okay, that's then that flat motor with the cables connected, done. Not broke. Okay, so that was everything for uh, issue 58 and that's it for this ghost part I've got. The next part is 59 and that is going to be a frame for the fuselage on the screw. So it's going to be starting building up the fuselage. But yeah, that was quite an interesting issue, quite enjoyed that, fitting that flat motor the uh sorry the, the flat cables and everything so seeing how that's going to operate yeah quite an interesting quite nice seeing how all these 
uh, different components are going to operate and fit in all obviously the operating cables and motors. But yeah, that's it for uh, issue 58. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my presentation of this issue of Builder Spitfire Mark 1A by Hachette Partworks. And if you'd like to see progression of this model or any of the other models on the channel, because I've got the uh, Ecto-1 and the Ferrari F40 going on at the moment, then you can always consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, then you can give us a thumbs up or pop any comments in the comments box. I always get back to those. But hey, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Take care and ta-da for now.